15 goes beyond decorations and gifts. It empowers educators and parents to personalize learning environments, inspire students innovation, and create a love for learning through projects and custom creation. So this morning, we have crafting enthusiast and former teacher Letitia Barr here to share the unexpected benefits of crafting. Good morning, Letitia. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me today. Yeah, so let's talk about this. What are some of the unexpected benefits of crafting? Well, crafting isn't just about cute decorations. There's actually a surprising link to STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and math. If you think about crafts, they often involve building things like model rockets or simple machines. And this is a great way to introduce kids engineering basics in a fun, hands-on way. Plus, crafts is all about experimentation, right? Trying new uh -huh. materials, techniques, figuring out how to make designs work. And this experimentation is a critical part of the engineering design process. I used to always tell my seventh grade engineering students, this is the one class where it's okay to fail and you want to try again because you want to build it back better. So keep trying and not necessarily failing, but always trying to build something back better is what the engineering design process is all about. So just like in science class, kids are developing critical thinking and problem solving skills. These skills are essential for success in STEM fields. So mm -hmm. the next time you see someone crafting, remember they just might be secretly building the next big invention. That's right. And it sounds like a great tool for teachers to kind of bring out some of the, uh, the, the things they're already teaching anyway. And if they've got crafting ideas and activities going on, I think that sounds like it'll really help. Absolutely. You know, as a teacher, you can truly transform your classroom by ditching the lectures and bringing crafting into the mix. There's nothing better than students unleashing their own creativity by designing their own process which with it projects within the Design Space app. So these things are ready to be brought to life with the help of teachers and the Cricut Joy Extra. This small but mighty machine lets kids design their own stuff, think organizers for their schoolwork or cool decorations for projects. They can even whip up model parts with it, which is just so neat. Um, so there's this app called the Cricut Design Space that's perfect for unleashing creativity right from your phone or tablet or digital device you're using in your classroom. And the best part is it's super easy to use. But just remember, I always like to tell parents and teachers, it's a really smart move to have an adult around for any crafting adventure. Good idea to always be safe. Oh yeah. So if you're a teacher, yeah, uh -huh. right? Be safe, have fun. Um, if you're a teacher, I'm just really excited to share Cricut has a built-out portal just for teachers that provides valuable resources and inspiration. I know how tight your time is as a teacher, but this portal elevates your classroom crafting experience by uh, just a sheer number of resources that you can use for hands-on learning in your classroom. Plus, with the print then cut feature, you can seamlessly incorporate your own designs and printables into projects. There's just so many exciting things you can do. Mm -hmm. What about at home? Uh, what are some crafting ideas or supplies you think that you should always have on hand for the kids or the grandkids? Sure. Well, you know, I think back to learning with, with flashcards, right? Writing things down on index cards. Cricut Joy Extra can be used to help your kids learn in just some fabulous ways. Like behind me, I have some flashcards with spelling words on them that are just so much more fun and motivating than old school index cards. You can personalize them to the things your kids really need to know. I also love these super cute bookmarks to motivate young readers. I mean, they have their names on them. Kids can choose their favorite animal. They're just great. And as a parent, I've always loved any craft that helps our family with organization. So behind me, you see some colorful file folders. When my kids were young, each had their school supplies in their own color, and I'm talking preschool, you know, when they were, before they could read. My daughter chose red, my son wanted blue, my daughter knew as a preschooler her red lunchbox needed to go in her red backpack, it went with the red folder and things like that. These are essential organizational skills that help kids learn organization, but also help parents as well. And I've seen how these organizational skills, when being taught from a young age, they really translate to executive functioning skills in older students, especially when they get to middle school. Mm -hmm. So Cricut Joy Extra can certainly personalize your family's organizational supplies and make it fun. As kids get older, the possibilities for using Cricut Joy Extra, it's just limitless. Oh, yeah. You've given us a lot of good ideas here. Where can we go to find more? 
Sure, well, for more information and crafting tips, I would send people to www.cricket.com. And for educators, educators, be sure to visit that teacher's portal. It is just a treasure trove of wonderful ideas. Yeah, Letitia, great talking with you today. Thanks so much for having me. Okay, so I love craft crafting. time with Susan. We're going to do some crafts. <laughs> okay. Because we've talked about this a couple of times, how you can just, you know, update your throw cushions outside or even inside with some simple tricks. I, think, I know we I've talked done. about it this week on the show. We did. So this is just an old, I think it's an ugly looking throw pillow. And Help I us out. So what do we need? All you need is some fabric, uh, the heavier kind, indoor-outdoor fabric. Okay. Outdoor fabric and some of the larger safety pins. You can get these at any craft store or big box store. If you can wrap a gift, you can change the look of your throw pillows in a matter of minutes. So how do you fold it? So think of it like we're wrapping a, a Christmas or a birthday present. Yeah, fold that part okay. up over here. And we'll go ahead and put one of the pins in. Here you go. Yeah, we go there. And um, you can, I mean, you can do this. You could even do your couch cushions this way too. I've done that before. And you just—you so. said you found this fabric like a, uh, like a Walmart or Hobby scores. Lobby or something. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. You should, a lot of places. And see, making my little corner like you would on a. a oh, it's package. like you're wrapping a Christmas present. Yes. And tuck it a little tighter there. there. Another giant safety pin. Ugh. Okay. Now, I won't tell you how many times I've poked my fingers. I, I just did it just then. <laughs> Do I need to get you a band aid or something? I might need a band aid. You might want to keep band aids nearby it, when listen, you do this. Listen, that is sometimes project. the thing about crafting. Like yeah. when you start getting in all the tools <laughs> and everything. But I find crafting and sewing uh, very relaxing. Well, yeah, and you've dabbled a lot more into sewing recently, uh -huh. too. I, the past year, I've started taking sewing lessons. Susan made the cutest little bandana for Willow at Christmas time, <laughs> and I put that on her. It was so cute. And it was like a reversible, too. Yeah. You did different designs on both sides. But this one, no sewing involved. This is the back this is the back side. Three big safety pins. This is the front side. Look at that. And it's like a totally new pillow. You and you didn't even have to buy any. Ah, yeah. A good way to save money and have a little fun doing it and that's perfect for like spring and summertime. I know. I like that. I only poked myself one time. Look at you. You're so crafty. But yeah, so simple. Well, thanks for the idea. Yeah. I mean if I can do this, anybody can do it. <laughs> You and made you it look super easy. <laughs> yes. Yes. There you go. A fun little crafting idea, and you can make everything look brand new around right. the house. Yeah.